How you doing? Matt Jordan, Retro Rolling. I'm out in the cave of man. This next video is from Petrol Hedonism Live back in the summer now. It seems so long ago. Um, I have some great, great footage. Um, this next clip coming up, this next, next vlog, is of Sam Hard and Rob Pitts. Now, me filming this, um, I normally look at the camera, uh, I normally look at the GoPro and film that way. But I couldn't during this because the chemistry between these two and talking about the cars and stuff just had me hooked straight away. It is absolutely brilliant. And I was literally hoping I'd got the footage because I was just glued. I was just glued to it. It's so brilliant. I've got loads more footage of these two guys uh, talking about the cars coming through on the procession through um, and I'll share more later. So like and subscribe if you want to see more of these two guys. They are absolutely brilliant, so enjoy. coming off my favorite generation of Mustang, the SN95. But, and these cars share a lot with the SN95. It's almost a rebody, the SN95. Same roof line, all that types of doors. Front fenders are different, back orders are different, and the deck looks different. But, these are great cars, and they had some really fun girlfriends with the mod motors in these cars. You, know, you are like a walking encyclopedia. It's amazing. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> this was high school for me. <laughs> so when, you, when all your buddies were chasing off women, you were getting the cars to pick them up. You will chase women, yeah. yeah, yeah Actually, a that. funny story. So, you know, you got to think about it. Back in high school, I weighed 300 pounds. I was fat, smoked like a tar kettle, and my dad knew that. Zero athletic ability. And uh, the funniest thing ever, I wanted to go out for the football team. I played two games, got knocked on my ass both times. I quit the football team, and I and my dad told me, he said, son, get you a good car. Get you something cool. And I'm like, yeah, I want to get you something cool. He said, just think, when all your buddies are playing with each other, now you can go play with a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about this car. How long have you owned it? What is it to you? Um, I bought this about a year ago. It's my first Mustang. So getting the first Mustang as a Cobra, as bragging rights over your dad. That, that's, a, that's a pretty cool step forward, right? And it looks the part. I mean, what did it for you? What about this car, the shape, the engine? What was it for you that made you want to go and put your hand in your pocket? Well, not having one to start with, and um, always wanting one. Not this, spe this specific shape, but um, being the Cobra, that's what drew me in. Um, and loving the car as well, it's brilliant. It came completely bare white, done all the graphics myself, um, had a little bit of finished stuff from bumper. I've put a border attack exhaust on it, which is woken up quite a lot. Uh, it's got a Canon cold air filter on it, and I've got this five packs for my so but the supercharger is pinned. <laughs> That is amazing. And guys, what you don't understand is, um, at the same era as this, the police P71, the, Tra the Crown Vicks, they came to their own. And basically, when they were building the Lincoln Town cars and the Crown Vicks, all the little switches that you see in those police cars are in here. Like, they were the predecessor, right? Well, a lot of that stuff. And also, you got to think about this Mod Motor platform. You know, the Mod Motor was actually supposed to come out the last year of the Fox body, but it wouldn't fit. So that's why they switched over to the SN95 platform which is basically the same platform this car's on. Wow, thank you so much. And this car is an absolute joy to look at here. But give this man a round of applause. Well 